Well, good evening, everybody. I couldn't cue the music up fast enough, so we'll skip the music for tonight. But happy Saturday evening here in on our side of the international date line. And what is this, Sunday morning or Sunday midday over there, Paul? It's uh, 11 a.m. Sunday morning. So so Sunday it's, morning, so happy morning Saturday everyone. night, Sunday morning, or whatever time it is where you are. I'm Marie Arnott, and joined by Paul Kassar, our executive producer from Sydney, Australia. And uh, good to see you, Paul. It's uh, been a little bit since you and I have done a live together, so I'm glad we were able to yeah. reunite here online. You, you'll be pleased to know you just pulled me out of um, masking up my two RS3s for weathering. <laughs> so, that's well, my Sunday project. Excellent. Well, you're heading towards winter. We're heading out of winter. So I guess it's yeah. maybe, maybe it's uh model railroad season over there. Getting a bit, starting to cool down a bit. Um, so it'll be coming into our modeling season again while you're out enjoying the sunshine and the sun and probably those in Texas will be getting the, the, the big heat again. Yeah. Yeah, that's for sure. So it's starting to warm up and, uh, Although we still were doing some model railroading stuff and, you know, last night was one of those events and, uh, I was really thrilled to head out to Torrington, Connecticut, about uh, an hour, hour and 40 minutes here from the studio to, uh, go see the Torrington area model railroaders as they were hosting yeah. Shane Wilson, his wife, uh, Michelle and their dog bear was there as well. And, uh, they did the, uh, scale trains road trip stop. It's their first one up here in the Northeast, and it's kind of cool to see them covering this side of the map. Did they have uh, many models, samples with them? Oh, they had quite a, uh, an entire table full of stuff, and uh, they were talking about that. But it was really neat to hear. I mean, we've had we've had uh, Shane on the podcast, and yeah. uh, you know we've heard some of this, but it was really neat to hear you know, how scale trains got started, and then really start to hear and try to understand more about the process that goes into this. It isn't just a simple, Hey, let's just make an RS three or let's just make whatever it's, it is a process. And as he described, it is from, you know, from concept to shelf is a, is a big five year process. So, um, yeah. but yeah, and they're doing it right. And they're talked about, you know, they even showed some of the ways that things are being cast and the molds are made and, so on. So it was really some neat inside baseball stuff when it came to scale trains and how they're how they're producing these awesome products. I thought that um, last week's around the layout podcast, uh, what's happening in modeling, was a excellent insight into um, what Steve and his team are doing, especially when he talked about matching locomotive colors that they tend to match with existing manufacturers rather than the actual color. Yeah. Uh, Oh, that was interesting. I thought that, and, and it makes sense what, what they do as well. So yeah. we're getting some really good quality manufacturers out there where yeah. I think, you know, what do we say, the golden age of modeling? I, I, yeah. I really think we are, and sc scale trains are certainly um, yeah. setting setting the standard, I believe. Yeah, and it's certainly neat to hear when we interviewed last week and with Stephen Priest and, you know, now talking about Shane Wilson over at Scale Trains, but they all one have similar stories, but what's also neat is that the, it's not, it's, you know, they they compete against each other, but the way Steven talked about it, it's really neat. It's not, they don't really see each other all that much as competition. They just kind yeah. of, you know, collaboration kind of thing. So that's, that's yeah. really kind of a cool thing too. So uh, that's, that's definitely uh, neat to see, but uh, let's, let's say hello to some folks that are dropping in here. We we see some familiar faces here. I don't know if you've got the control there or not. I'll let you run the control if you want, Paul. Yep. Yep. Yeah. So let's, uh, yep. let's take a, let's take a look and see who's, uh, who's stopping by to see us. Let, let me, um, so there's uh Darren from uh, Australia, another, another compatriot. How yeah. are you, Darren? All year is modeling. That's yeah. That's that's great. Uh, who else we got? We got um, our good friend. I noticed come up earlier. Uh, Don Iris is there. How are you, Don? Well, good to see Don, and uh, I'll be seeing Don uh, just a short few days. We'll be uh, all heading out to Syracuse to the uh, Central New York NMRA's Up to You Drop event. So we're we actually Don and I were chatting about that last night. We're both looking forward to seeing uh, each other and seeing well maybe not seeing each other i like i like to see don i'm not sure if he wants to see me or not but 
he's definitely forward looking forward to going out to Syracuse and running trains. So yeah. Uh, yeah. Yep. Uh good evening. Welcome from Brownsville, Texas. Good to see you there. What else you got in there? Let's see you. Uh, let me see. Um we've got um, uh Paul Paul August. August. And then the yeah. line. Yeah, yeah bottle here all year round, and I gets a little bit hot in summer for me. Uh, I, I model probably at night rather than during the day, but then I bring a yeah. train into the um, uh, house and do some weathering or something under the air conditioning. So, you know, it'd be lovely to have an air conditioned room and everything, you know, mine's yeah. in the garage. Yeah, the uh, it is a year round thing. I just think that once you start getting into, you know, spring, you know, summer and fall, there's more things competing against the model railroad and, you know, as travel starts to pick up and yard work definitely picks up and everything else, but definitely good to be doing it all year round. And yeah, good to yep. see Marty Jenkins. He was a recent guest. We got his show queued up for, uh, for a couple of weeks from now. So we'll be ha- hearing from Marty Jenkins on the show. That was a fun interview to do. Drew James, looking forward to hosting you guys next weekend. Yeah, he's uh he's got a phenomenal layout. The uh, Spokane, Canada, and Pacific. I hope I got that right, Drew. Um, awesome layout, and uh, that's that's uh, definitely a must see layout out in that uh, Syracuse area. And um, I was telling you last weekend, I had the pleasure of going to Justin Mitchell, who has a commercial property in Sydney that he's building a uh, Santa Fe uh, surfline layout. It's it's quite amazing, and. Uh, I said, watch your space because um, I think we'll be having him on in the in the near future. Got a great story, and uh, he's building a beautiful layout. Awesome, yeah. We've got an amazing amount of people that uh, we've been talking to, and we've got the list going. And uh, yeah, we we just got to start pumping out interviews. So that that's on me. So uh, we'll we'll continue to knock them out. And you know, again, I want anybody that's listening. You know, if you you've wondered how, if I haven't gotten back to you it's kind of goes in theme with the fact that we're still doing that we're doing this drawing on the 20th of April instead of the first weekend in April of course that was Easter and then just things started rolling after that so I certainly haven't forgotten about you guys and I certainly if you've sent me an email it's likely I have it I just haven't had a chance to reply to it but as Paul can attest we've got a CRM system where we're tracking all of it and we will definitely, as we're starting to book, we go through that list. We look at information. When you send us an email, the more information you provide, the better. It certainly, yep. it certainly helps with that too. So, we've go got ahead. quite a quite a database of um, prospective people to interview. So, um, you know, we've probably filled this year, um, if not more, with with people already. So. You know, we'll get there, uh, and it's just great. It's great that we've got so many options. Plus, there's also the the replays and other things that we've got planned. Uh, you know, it's um, it's really exciting. Yeah, for sure. So, I want to get back real quick before we do the drawing of to our friends at Scale Trains. Uh, they were kind enough to send us a video. Now, I think they were thinking that it was going to be Tony and me on here. So, you'll hear uh, Drayton Blackrove uh you know say ray and tony but it uh was intended for tonight so i want to just show that to everybody real quick they did a really nice video explaining the scale trains road trip and i think it's such a really cool event that i wanted to share this very quick three minute video so uh we'll fire that up and uh enjoy well ray and tony thanks so much for having us on the show today I'm here to talk about the road trip, as you mentioned, and for your listeners who might not be familiar with what the road trip is, uh, the Scale Trains road trip started in 2020 as a way to connect with our customers in the wake of COVID-19. You know, train shows pretty much shut down that year and we weren't able to meet with our customers one-on-one. And we thought, why don't we bring the train show to them by visiting model railroad clubs, and railroad museums across the United States. And we kind of did a precursor to the branded Scale Trains road trip. Um, It was for about three weeks uh, in 2020. And after seeing the success, after seeing the response, uh, we thought that we would make it a more formal thing. 
Um, so we acquired a truck and an RV to be able to travel the United States and visit as many clubs as possible. Our goal is to be able to visit all 50 states. Now you can't take a truck and an RV across the ocean, but we'll fly when we visit Hawaii and uh, Alaska. So we're excited to eventually make our way there. But here we are, this is basically the fourth year, the third uh, year of a formalized scale trains road trip. And uh, this spring, we're gonna be visiting the Northeast. We're gonna be making 15 stops that's subject, subject to change. So um, be sure to check the website, scaletrains.com slash road trip for more information, the most up-to-date information on where we'll be going. But we're gonna be visiting um, the, the Northeast. So places like New Hampshire, Vermont, Massachusetts, um, you know, there's a, there's a plethora of states and, and model railroad clubs that are gonna be hosting us. I'm personally pretty excited because uh, Scale Trains is going to be visiting my former club in Southeast Michigan, the Blissfield Model Railroad Club, um, which is going to be really cool. So if you're in the Great Lakes state, make sure you put that on your calendar. It's going to be in May. So check it out. Basically, the way that these meet and greet events work is that uh, we set up a table. We'll have our latest models and announcements on display we'll kind of walk you through the scale trains story. So from how the company started to how we got here today, as you can see, I'm out here uh, standing in front of our new headquarters. We've been here for a little over a year now. And you know, what, what started essentially, um, you know, a, a company of uh, the founders and the Wilsons has turned into a business um, where we're over 25 employees now. And, it's just amazing to see the growth at Scale Trains and a lot of people are curious about you know the last 10 years of our company and as a matter of fact 2024 is our 10th year. Can you believe that? 10 years and I've somehow survived half of those 10 years. Somehow I still have a job but uh, it's a great place to work and you'll be able to hear a little bit more about what it's like to actually work here at Scale Trains. You can kind of hear some of the traffic in the background, but that's par for the course on the Scale Trains road trip as we travel the country to come and visit your club. So find out more information at scaletrains.com slash road trip. Once again, Tony and Ray, thank you so much for having us on the show. Look forward to seeing you at one of these events. Well, that was uh, certainly cool of uh, Drayton to take some time out front and by the noisy traffic that he was doing a good, good yeah. segue there, Drayton of uh, tying that in. And, you know, again, you know, I'm not trying to, you know, pump up and we, we've got a lot of great companies that participate on the show. I just think it's super cool to be able to have this kind of access that they've taken the time to come to the, basically the foot of the customer. And I'm always impressed by that, that they're you know making these trips all the way around the country and, be able to see them in you know a place like Torrington, Connecticut, and today they were in Palmer, Mass, and the tour continues. Don mentioned them going to Rhode Island. There's a whole bunch of stops from Michigan to Maine, and if you're anywhere in between that, definitely check it out and see the schedule. It's a great time to go visit a club, see what they're up to, and then also get to talk to the folks at Scale Trains and hear their story and have your questions answered and so on. So that's that's uh, why we. Uh, that's why we're promoting it up. It's a really excellent idea and something that's uh, um, very cool. Very cool to be able to yep. have that access, like I said. Yep. So really well, good. So this month we are giving away a $50 gift card or gift certificate. Actually, it'll be an electronic gift certificate to Lombard Hobbies. And uh, that's being sponsored by Reds Distributors in Plainfield, Connecticut. Some of you will start to figure out that inside joke, but Reds Distributors in Plainfield, Connecticut is supporting this month's operating crew giveaway. And the reason why Lombard was chosen was uh, my recent visit there within the last few months, an absolutely excellent hobby shop. I mean, the stock there was just phenomenal. The staff was phenomenal. And here's an opportunity for anybody modeling pretty much any scale 
to be able to get it and have the opportunity to purchase from from Lombard and their prices are phenomenal too. So uh really liked my experience there at Lombard. I did come back with my suitcase a little bit fuller than it went out with. So there was some stuff coming back. And uh I look forward to my next trip to the Chicago land area where I'll be able to visit them again in person. So that's what we're up to. Have you purchased ever done anything through Lombard hobbies over with them, Paul? Not, not from uh, Lombards. Uh, I used to use Kleins or, you know, what, what it's called now, yeah. um, model, model Trains. It's coming back, by the way. Um, the online store is um, back online very soon. Yeah. So I used to, from them, a um, few other places, but no, I haven't, haven't used Lombard yet. Well, that's a definitely a site to check out. They did an excellent job with their website as well. So easy to shop right online and located very well especially if you're in obviously mainland united states they're located right in the center of the country so shipping is uh yeah really good you know in in a short period of time you know location 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 so uh let's give that gift card away so let's pull up the uh wheel of names let's see if i can get this done right oh good luck everyone yeah good luck 110 on the wheel tonight thank you so much for everybody's support I'm going to talk about that in a minute when I spin the wheel here and, and, and talk about the operating crew, but let's, let's pick a winner while we got the wheel on the, on the screen. All right, Eric Risman, congratulations. I don't know if you're in the live tonight, but I will be reaching out and uh, getting your email, verifying your email address just to make sure that you do get that $50 gift certificate to Lombard Hobbies and congratulations. And uh, let me get that off the screen so you can see our lovely faces. The, the folks that support the operating crew and, and what it is and, you know, as we, we, we talk about it, it, it really is that financial support and you what the things that you see and then the things that you don't behind the scenes that we're working on the giveaways at trade shows and uh we're working on yet another project that'll uh, be sent around uh paul's paul's chomping at the bit to talk about but he's not allowed to yet um but we're gonna have a really neat idea where we're gonna be able to get you know something going that's gonna tie everybody in and give you an opportunity to to uh, showcase your layout in a, in a neat way. So looking forward to making that announcement here very soon. Um, but all of those kinds of projects are helped by the operating crew. Uh, that that three bucks a month is just what we need to kind of just keep this thing, you know, keep me off the couch and be able to do the things, buy headsets for people who can't or just a multitude of different things I think, that we um, going on that really pe- does people help. don't people don't realize the cost involved like uh, me being involved surprised me like for instance even uh stream a subscription yeah. we've got the da- online database which is another subscription we've got squarespace for the um actual around the layout podcast website yeah you know, they all add up it all adds up and you know the last thing that i want to see is it come out of uh, your your pocket so yeah, you know, it's really important. Um, you know, we really appreciate those who donate because it all goes to the show. It doesn't go. Ray's not off to uh, the Bahamas for a um, for a holiday from from what what the what the money that comes mm-hmm. in, but the time you put in uh, is significant. You know, what is it, about four hours editing for every episode. Yeah, yeah, it's a it's a process, and but you know, and and again, you know, paying for all that, what it what it keeps to keep a podcast up, keep all the podcasts available, uh, keep the gear where it needs to be there. So, yeah, that's uh, you know, I was not spotted there, by the way, Don Iris. I, 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 that was an imposter. It was, <laughs> it was, it was probably, um, well, I don't know. I've got a couple, uh, couple lookalikes, I guess. So maybe it was one of them. Um, Andy Richter, that's the one I'm thinking. Maybe it was Andy Richter. Yeah. I've been told I look a little bit like Andy Richter with less hair. So Eric anyway, is, Eric is with us, Ray. Oh, awesome. Congratulations, Eric. I'll be reaching out to you. Or if you want, just email me at around the layout at gmail.com. That'd be easier. Then I'll know that I have your address and then I'll get you uh, set up with that $50 gift certificate. Um, but yeah, anyway, and then, of course, if you're a member of the operating crew, the things that you get, you get the exclusive sticker. Uh, you get your name listed on the crew roster. 
You get the previews of upcoming shows. You get that information early. And then you also get, um, what was the other thing they get, Paul? I, I just drew a blank. What was the fourth thing that, 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 oh, entry into the monthly drawings. Well, of course sure. we're doing, because we're right. doing one now. So, yeah, so monthly entries. I mean, last year we gave away thousands like of dollars buddies. worth of stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. So, yeah, it's... Um, it certainly is, uh, you know, I think beneficial for $3 a month. You get a chance to win. And I mean, like you said, the stuff that we're giving away and we've got more giveaways lined up for uh, the months to come. We've had some great manufacturers on the what's happening in model railroading show that have been generous enough to supply us with uh, items to give away. And that all goes right back to the operating crew and uh, certainly, uh, certainly appreciate you guys. It's, it's very humbling to see the support. And the responsiveness of this audience, and you and I are going to do something with the um, the survey. And we, I want to do a show with Paul when we go through the the uh, listener survey. We had two hundred and sixty seven responses. That's amazing. And, I, and when I told somebody in the industry that we ran a survey and had two hundred and sixty seven responses, they predicted a number that's like five or six times higher than the the count that I have of our audience. And so what that tells me. I'm not worried about the quantity of audience because we have an amazing quality audience. You, you, you guys just and gals just respond and, you know, to be able to have that many responses to a survey and, you know, even the, the, the responsiveness that we get out of the uh, operating crew. It's uh, it's certainly awesome for, you know, the, the support that you provide us. So I, I just can't say thank you enough to everybody who who supports the show. It means a lot. It keeps us motivated, both Paul and I. When we see the, the the just the pouring of positivity and the suggestions and the you know the just the the the, the way you, you come to bat for us is, is certainly an awesome thing. So yeah, when the sub hobby co costs more than the actual hobby, one will get less time. I spend a week getting one video done or a week working on the railroad. Yeah, it's you know I, I jokingly have said a few times on the podcast if you want to never finish a layout, start a podcast and. Uh, my my layout does suffer for it, but I've I've had nothing but a blast over the last two years, and I certainly appreciate guys like Paul who have kept me motivated and you know have helped and you know can tackle some tasks. We also have Matt Forkham helping me with the website, which has been a huge thing. We're working to revamp the website. We know that if you go to aroundthelayout.com backslash podcasts. It is very difficult to find things. You've got to can you 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 basically roll wear out the scroll wheel on your mouse trying to get to the bottom of that list. So we're reformatting that and coming up with better ways of doing it. And he's an expert in the field. So I certainly appreciate experts in the field diving in to help out with those kinds of projects too. So uh that's uh certainly awesome. So thank you everyone. Appreciate you. Yeah, I think what I'm going to giving mood tonight. We've got uh, we got quite a few folks joining us on a Saturday night, taking time out of their uh, weekend to listen to us yak here. So I think we should also give away a T-shirt. So uh, we'll talk for another few minutes. But if you're if you want to win a around the layout podcast T-shirt, all you do in the comments put hashtag ATLP. I think you all know what that stands for. Hashtag ATLP. In the comments, we'll get you eligible to win the T-shirt. We'll give it a few minutes, and then uh, we'll we'll draw a winner of the folks that are listening here tonight. You do not need to be a member of the operating crew to win. If you're joining us tonight and aren't a member, we uh, encourage you to become a member. But if not, just throw in that ATLP into the comments, and then we'll uh, we'll, we'll do a drawing here uh, in a short few minutes. So. So we, uh, I've got uh, the, the, t this week's upcoming schedule. I think we're going to put Shane Wilson in the uh, rewind. It was great seeing him again in Torrington and yeah. talking to him. And, you know, one of the topics that came up I wanted to mention was, you know, that they're super excited and as they should about the 2026 NMRA National Convention in Chattanooga. That is going to yeah. be one to go check out. I mean, I, I'm, I'm a big fan. I've spent a little time, but not nearly enough in Tennessee. So I'm certainly looking forward to getting down there. And I see a guy from Tennessee in here, Roger Coleman. He's uh, he's stopped by to join us. So that'll be nice to be down in that Tennessee area. I'm sure there's a lot of, you know, prototype rail fanning, plus all the models that are down there. And obviously, you'd be able to go see uh, Scale Trains World Headquarters and spend some more time with those fine folks will definitely be in uh, definitely be a good time. 
it, it'd be pretty pretty amazing to be there. When are we going to drag you over to the States, Paul? Yeah, well, I'm, I'm planning to. Um, just work's keeping me tied up at the moment. But I do plan to come over. And um, whether or not I, I come to that or whether or not I do Amherst, I, I think I've got to go when there's something big on so that I can... Problem is I probably need two suitcases if I went to Amherst. Um, one with my clothes and one to bring back everything I purchased. So, uh, <laughs> I'm, you know, I'm sure we could figure uh, it out. Sure uh, but maybe um, one of the uh, conventions would be worth worthwhile as well yeah. to do. So, yeah, I'm planning on it, planning awesome. on it, just finding the time. Awesome. Um, you know, I've got to get over to the Dons as well, operate, you know, yeah. this layout. You have to as well. You haven't... Um, yeah, I got to get down there eventually. I, I keep, you know, this year it's kind of, you know, with, with me taking a new job, that was part of, you know, some of the delays here in the springtime. Um, yeah. Pay Paul Kassar. And it go, <laughs> it's going to be a long ride next, next weekend for you, Joe. Um, yeah, it's going to be, uh, uh, this year, the big one for me, I keep mentioning St. Louis RPM. I've got that all set. I booked my hotel room. So that one's, I'll be doing that in the middle of the month or middle of the year. And then I got to go back down to Texas again in October, go see my grandparents and bring in the kids and the wife this time. So we'll be able to go do that. Hopefully I'll sneak in a little rail fanning while I'm down there. And then, uh, yeah, so it's, it's a busy year, but then Don is definitely on the list and I'll get, I'll yeah. get myself down there. Maybe I'll get quite, the kid, go to Disney and I'll drop the wife and kids and I'll go over to yeah. Don's and play trains. That'll be a lot. Um, St. Louis is quite uh, popular, the RPM, isn't it? I've seen um, footage of it and uh, looks quite amazing. Yeah, I think a lot of folks here, I mean, we see some folks uh, uh, posting in here as well about uh, uh, St. Louis RPM. And it just seems like it's like the place to be and. You know, it's perfectly positioned kind of middle of the country. So it's, it's a little easier to travel versus something that's completely yeah. on the East coast or completely on the West coast. So yeah. it seems like, you know, kind of a meet me there kind of place. So definitely looking forward to that and spending some time with Tony cook. And then our friends over at uh, second section are supposed to be there too, Mike and Andy. So okay. that's going to be, a, that's going to be a good time. So yeah, I'll, I'll see you Martin on the Sunday. I'll be there uh, working in the uh, NMRA booth uh at in sydney for for our train show in two weeks so looking forward to that awesome awesome stuff make sure you post pictures on in the uh, yeah, friends yeah, of absolutely. around the layout podcast group absolutely hopefully looking to see that myself so. uh gary rooming will be there as well um and steve pettit who's also an operator is um showing his he built he's built a, a exhibition layout purely for this exhibition so um be good be good to see all right, so folks, I I may or may not have done this correctly. So if you have hit hashtag ATLP, just do it one more time for me, and only one more time there, Mister uh, Teddy Delirio. Uh, just just <laughs> just one time hashtag ATLP for me. Uh, again, if you've you've put it in there and then uh, whatnot, it may not have captured because I didn't realize you actually have to hit the capture, and now they're starting to rack up. So yeah, definitely hit it one more time. Hashtag ATLP. Apologize for that. A little. This is why I do pre-recorded shows because live is not my <laughs> thing. So, yeah, just give you guys just another you know minute or so to catch up and uh, hit that hashtag ATLP, and we'll get those entries in. Yeah, now they're starting to stack up a lot better. Yeah, there's two feeds: one in Facebook Live and one in YouTube. Yeah, and it it'll capture both of them, Paul. It's just, I didn't hit, it says start capturing. So I hit the capture thing. So we should be able to be it now. Yeah, here we go. More like 18 entries. I know there's a few more folks in here. So just hit, uh, yeah, Teddy, you've, you've, you've definitely covered it. I think you, you had it. And the sad part is all of the ones you put in there actually didn't count. So now uh, we'll at least get one or two more in there and so, we'll make sure that so, we capture you. So the, um, the, the special project we're starting to build um hopefully what rain the next month or so we'll make an announcement i think it'll be out it'll be about a month i, I maybe less i think I, we're getting we're getting close so yeah we'll uh 
We'll have that uh, ready to announce. We'll do that. We'll do a live. Maybe we'll tie it in yeah. with the, because with the, uh, we got to yeah. do something. The, the, the survey was just incredible and the information. And I, I want to be able to share with folks. I just think it was really neat, the kind of the things yeah. that we learned from it. And and I hope people okay. hear of maybe some slight differences in the podcast because of some feedback that came through it. So uh, hope everybody's enjoying it. And uh, we certainly love big, feedback at any time yeah. around the layout at gmail.com. Send us an email. Love to hear from you folks. So if you hear something on the podcast you like, or if you don't like or whatever, send it to around the layout at gmail.com. Serious complaints always go to second section podcast at gmail.com. You can send them all the nasty <laughs> now they, they sent them all to me last episode. Oh, did they? Nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They sent it sent them to me. But I thought that one of the most important feedback you got was about paying me more money. I thought oh. that was um there was a number of um comments around that. So um the connection is starting double- to break up from Australia. I'm having trouble hearing you, Paul. <laughs> And, and you are paying me double than what you were paying me before. Hey, you, I send you, I sent you your last check, and then the check before that, I sent you, I sent you yeah, your payroll, yeah. which is yeah, I pay Paul yeah. in stickers. If you ever send me a sticker, send me two because I collect them up, and then I send them all over Sends to Australia. So I pay him in stickers, and he, yeah, I think that's a pretty yeah, fair right. trade. Yeah, it's a pretty so, fair trade. I think. Nice, I think nice. that's fine. All right, let's let's give away a T-shirt and let's let these folks get back to uh, get back to their uh, Saturday night here. So, let's see if I can do this. I'm gonna hit. Um, let's see, I'm gonna hit that, and I don't know if it's gonna show us anything in the studio or not. So, we're gonna find out. Um, here and draw. Oh, I should have shared the screen. So you're going to have to take my word for it. I'll tell you who wins. I've got two Bowser RS3s waiting for me after the show. Present, present, share screen. And how about that? Roger Coleman, congratulations. Hey. I'll uh, I'll verify your email address. If you just want to make sure you log into patreon.com, make sure your correct uh, address is there. If it's not correct, just shoot me an email around the layout at gmail.com and uh, I'll uh, I'll get you out a t-shirt. So thanks again, Roger. Appreciate your support. Love the rail photography that you've been sharing. That's super awesome. You can, and uh, all, all great things to share because you know, I, I think a lot of the prototype photographies I talked about on TSG Multimedia, if anybody hasn't checked that out yet, that was a lot of fun. And uh we talked rail photography and then we talked about the effect of rail photography on modeling. Yeah. And of course, you know, being able to capture the prototype, go out and see it and then having it uh, to review and yeah, it's certainly uh, a, a great aspect of modeling. So definitely keep sharing those prototype photos. And Hey, if you find a 4750 out there that looks all beat up and weathered, we seemingly love those lately. We've been sharing a lot of those in the group too. So uh, yeah, keep them, keep them coming. So on behalf of Paul Kassar, I'm Ray Arnott. It was great you joining us on a Saturday night, and we will catch you guys again soon. Have a great one. See you all later.